I'm really hoping that I'm even on camera right now because my little camera keeps falling down. Hey y'all, I'm Shay. You are probably more familiar with me as Rave with Shay. I am fairly new to the EDM community. I started raving when I was pretty young, but I didn't really understand rave culture and EDM vibes and all of that. This is actually a really fun video for me to film because it is the my first time, my first festival and EDM and rave festival first. Uh, I was challenged by Awesome content creators, B.B. Howell and Becca Grace Original posed 10 questions about all the different firsts. And I've actually added one of my own. I hope that's okay. I thought it would be fun to add a little bit of a different kit from Shay. I'm just really excited to be filming this. Isn't this choker the cutest? It's not actually on tight enough to be a choker, but it says base head. I really want to get a um, headbanger one and a rave with Shay one, but anyway, shout out, hey Lauren Hutzel, love you girl, um, Nomad Candy is the bomb, and um, can't wait to get some more pieces. Here are all of the questions, and I lied earlier, it's 11 questions. One, who is the first DJ you remember? Two, what is the first show that you attended? Three, what is the first festival you attended? Four, who are the first people that you raved with? Five, the first friend that I made at a rave. Six, <laughs> first festival outfit. Seven, the first festival fit malfunction. Eight, the first set that I cried. Number nine, first light show. Number 10, first candy trade. Number 11, moment that you first fell in love with rave culture. So I call that my first plur moment. If you're new here, which everyone is, Please, please, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna add a little sound thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know, is this music video too long? Am I rambling? Should I call it Raver Bay Rant? First DJ I ever heard of, Morgan Page. We also saw him at Lights All Night. My first show would have to be the Chainsmokers, which don't judge me. I know they're pop. Three, my first EDM festival was Lights All Night Dallas for New Year's Eve in 2017. So different because it's a winter Texas nighttime two-day festival. I also like to say sunset music festival. Oh, yeah. hey, 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 hey. I just remember walking in and seeing girls just running around so free not a lot of clothes but a ton of confidence this is a whole new world for me i just remember like going to the water refill station and seeing girls in thongs and pasties and i was like i thought i was overdressed in my jean shorts and my little low cut bathing suit i'll pop a really embarrassing photo up here that gets under my first festival outfit which four first people that I raved with. My first actual rave was Lights All Night Dallas and we went with my best friend, Jordan. She and her boyfriend, Sly um, Silver, they live in Houston, they just bought a house. Shout out to my, my Houston, Texas fam. So it was Jordan, Sly, me and Lee, my husband. Hashtag, um, hashtag write a script next time, Shayna. Six, first one, I wore pink ears that I got at Claire's. And I remember Jordan saying, we're not going to see Dead Mouse. Jordan! Here, I'm gonna pop that up for you. Let's go! Number 
seven is first festival outfit malfunction. Disclaimer, I just started wearing rave clothes, like actual legitimate rave clothes. I'm obsessed with Freedom Rave Wear. Gotta shout out to my Freedom Rave Wear fam, Freedom Rave Wear Bays, Alyssa and Mike, Ugh, love y'all. Number seven, first festival malfunction. I wore this awesome bodysuit. I love the low cut, so I don't have big boobies, so like I can wear the low cut. But this was before I discovered Pacey's. Pacey's are a girl's best friend, first of all. I'll show a picture. I wore this awesome bodysuit that I got, and it was black, and it was super low cut, but it was super loose and kind of meshy and see-through, and I had some jean shorts. Yes, jean shorts, you heard right, over it, but you know, I'm, I'm a real writer, I'm a headbanger. <laughs> I'd headbang, but I'd completely knock over my whole setup, which would be great for the bloopers, to be honest. But is this thing on? I want to say Cascade was the sunset headliner on the sunset stage at Sunset Music Festival. <laughs> my top is just, it keeps falling off. And I don't have pasties on. So I'm just like trying to hold it up, but also not caring and also head banging and also trying to just like realize that it's fine. Like people run around naked. I guess that's my first festival malfunction. Now I wear pasties, lesson learned. You want Lauren Soto, I love you so much. Um, she looked like a professional raver. I'll post a picture of that too, and some videos probably, but she had this awesome outfit every single day, like all bedazzled, her and her mom made it together. And the first night, apparently, her top completely broke, just like came off, it was raining, it was cold. This was at EDCO, Orlando. Orlando, put those hands up! Here we go! And we've got some hilarious pictures of us in the rain. Poor thing, her top completely falls off. We tie a pashmina around her. Second day, had this awesome photo shoot and her outfit totally holds up for photos. But as soon as we get to the festival and we're walking, her little bedazzled leg wrap strap falls off. We try to put it on Justin, that doesn't work. All together, just different pieces kind of fell apart. Anytime I go to a festival like Lights All Night 2019, I'm headbanging to Skrillex and Bass Nectar on night two, and I just completely headbang my pink and purple braid extensions into Bass Nectar, my beads off of my face onto the floor. I wish I had video. I was just jamming out so hard. Didn't even take pics and vids. Number eight, the first set that made me cry. Please don't judge. I don't think I've actually cried. And if I did, I don't remember. I remember at sunset, we went to the Eclipse stage, Rusco back to back, Liquid Stranger back to back, Flex Pavilion. <laughs> Everyone was talking about how Millennium made them cry and it was the best set ever and I feel like I had the best time of my life at the Eclipse stage and I think that no matter where you are, it's always the best place to be at a festival. I believe I was in the right place and I met the right people and I had some great candy trays and I have some great memories. Maybe one day I'll see that and I'll cry and I'll have something to share with you. I have all the feels but I am, I'm a headbanger. I might be crying because my neck hurts. Number 10, first candy trade. This is gonna make me cry. Lights on Light Dallas 2017, we're at Marshmallow VIP. Jordan! 
this girl, Jenny, I didn't know her name at the time. Her whole Ray fam is taking care of, of our Ray fam. Jenny grabs my hand, pulls me up to the rail, teaches me how to headbang. I'm pretty sure we're in the highlight reel for that year. I had never had banged. I had never been to a EDM festival. She gave me a piece of candy. I wish I had it. Um, she gave me a piece of pink candy that said turn it. And I remember I didn't know what any of the, you know, I didn't know any of that. I didn't know what Plur was. I didn't know what any of it was. I do have some candy that Carissa with Memphis Ray fan made me. It says Pisces and Shea. It's a pink turn it and let us turn up the beat. Let us turn up the beat. She gave me my first piece of candy. I'll never forget it. I wore that freaking bracelet for a year. I never took it off. This past EDC Orlando, I was trading candy that I hadn't even seen yet. I was feeling all the feels, all the vibes, made so many friends, loved everyone. I met a girl that EDC was her first festival and I gave her my first festival candy piece. On the real though, y'all, I'm filming this video. I have a fever, I have the flu. I hope I don't have coronavirus. Um, did you know that worldwide sales for Corona beer are down? Number 11, I think I skipped one. I don't have number nine, we'll get back to that. This is like, these are my notes. It's really sad. There's also, use portrait mode, evoke emotion. <laughs> number 11, last but not least, moment where you fell in love with rave culture at sunset. Jenny giving me the candy at lights all night kind of opened my eyes and had me start to do some research on what is this trading of bracelets and why did this girl give me a bracelet? Emma Capotis, if you guys follow her, if you don't, go follow her. Stop. Whoa. If you don't follow Emma Capotis, follow her. She is amazing. She is a trance house girl and I am a hard style, hardcore headbanger, real rider, Rave to the Grave, Bass Nectar, Skrillex, like, that's my jam. We're just different. Love her. She's adorable. Wish I could do makeup like she does. Wish I could talk slower. I'm just racing through this. I bet my phone's like hung up on me by now. Stay tuned for the blue for real. I did add my own question. What was your first camping festival was my number 12. I hope it's okay that I added my own. For me, my first camping festival was actually the North Mississippi Hill Country Picnic in Oxford, Mississippi. It was all blues. It was really fun. It was in the middle of summer, lots of sweat. It's how I learned how to French braid my hair. I met a lot of cool bands there. I have a ton of content, but I never take pictures of myself because like I'm sweating or I'm headbanging and I don't have an outlet to put it. So now I'm really excited for this YouTube channel and for Instagram and for all the different platforms. I'm hoping to launch a podcast, Raver Radio, Raver Bay Radio, Raver ran I, i'm still a work in progress probably just rave with shay podcast but my first festival like edm rave festival for camping is going to be a magic music festival i'm beyond excited i'm going with justin and his friend landon hopefully we'll be able to get chelsea and jay but they got engaged rave engagement so cute this concludes this episode of rave with shay's my first time rave edition challenge and i'm going to tag chelsea and lauren and i don't know if lauren hutzel do you do youtube videos if not tag you're it if you liked this give me a thumbs up if you didn't like politely email me at hello at ravewishay.com and just tell me some constructive criticism because let's be honest it's my first video and i'm just I'm just excited to push some content out there. Until next time, I'll catch you in my next video. Peace. Also, oh my gosh, time out. If you don't follow Becca Grace Original, go follow her. BB Howell, go follow her. Just two days ago, no, I think yesterday was International Women's Day. And we have so many girls who are running the world. Who runs the world, girls?